This is exercise number 23 in the Paint with Lens series of short lessons and today we'll paint a gold mine. This little exercise is a great little exercise for those of you who are just starting to paint. It's not a pretty painting but it's a very good painting to practice your brush strokes and your knife strokes and to learn to use the tools. I have on the palette white, that'll be titanium white if you're working in oils, burnt umber, Prussian blue, burnt sienna and raw sienna. So they really represent the three colours, yellow, red, blue. I'll start by cleaning my brush in the white, get it full of white paint and then clean it with a rag. Then I'll put a little bit of the raw sienna in the white and pick up the bit I want. And I'll start painting this picture with the minimum number of brush strokes. And I'll clean my brush around the outside. Then when my brush is still dirty with the white paint, if my brush still has white paint in it, I'll pick up a little bit of burnt umber and brush it around the outside of the white. Like that. Now, don't carry on brushing. Just put it on like I have and leave it. And then with the brush without reloading the brush, darken into the middle a little bit. This is the entrance to the mine. So it'll have a flat floor and the outside is shrouded in colour from the sun coming in. That's our entrance. Then with burnt umber on my brush again, I'll paint in the first bit of wall, like that. First bit of floor down this side and across the top. And I'll clear my brush and mute those colours in a little bit. Don't go straight, have curves straight across the floor and the walls come in in sections. Now I'm deliberately not putting much paint on here because I want to have a far away look but I want to stay in the brown colour. Cut a bit up there. And that's the entrance to our mine. And here I want you to practice picking up two colours at once on your brush. It's dark there and a little bit of light on the side of it. And when I brush it on here, that'll give me what looks like a wall with a bit of light shining on one side. I'll go across the bottom and I can clean my brush down here. I load the brush again, this time with the white on the other side and come down the other side, we come across and down. Now try to do it in these single brush strokes and clean my brush again. You can go back and touch up little bits where there's no paint, like there and there. And then the same thing across the top, single brush stroke. Then let's clean the brush here. Now it's come towards us, I'll pick up a little bit of burnt sienna and run it in the white to give us a few tones that will represent colour on the side of the wall. Now it's got closer to us, we can see the colour of the rock. Pick up some dark again on the side of the brush. And then we brush in to the next section. Just a bit of colour. And again with the colour on the other side of the brush and across the top. Clean the brush. This is the rock inside the mine. This is the walls of the mine. So we'll take them off in angles like that. And the bottom will have butts. And the bottom will have fillets. Like that where the rock has fallen in. Clean your knife, clean your brush again. So I'll continue like that, bigger brush strokes each time. Then a bit of Prussian blue to give you the very dark bit. That's two brush strokes. Don't do this. And Prussian blue here. Then over the top of the Prussian blue, go with your burnt umber. And then we can continue that effect right up 
here. Very minimum brush strokes. That's Prussian blue. Clean my brush. And then burn umber over the top. Not completely. You can see both colours there. And then I'll come back with a little bit of that burnt sienna and white on my brush and touch up a few bits that look like the light just touching the edge of the rock here and there. I roll my brush to get it to come off the edge of that one and again here. Don't overdo that again also. Clean my brush again. In my other hand I always have paper or rag to clean the brush. Pick your paint up and fill it in but try keeping to the one big brush strokes. Burnt umber, brush and blue, clean your brush. Burnt umber, fill your spots in with brush and blue, bits missing. That looks very patchwork. Don't go that direction. That's out of the picture. We won't need those streaks yet into the picture in this direction. All the direct, all the brush strokes should be round in that area, in that shape, and very dark down here. I'm putting a lot of paint on, which is okay. And I might touch up the last bits with the knife. To blend them a little bit, not much. And then with my burnt sienna and white again, I'll put a few highlights where I see it looks like rock. It's like a rock wall there, there, something there. Now these are a little bit strong. So I might knock them back a bit, like that. And to make it look like it's coming towards us, I'll put a zigzag effect on the bottom here. A few brush strokes like that. Bring the eye into the picture all the time. I think that one could do a bit of burnt sienna there. Now on my knife I have burnt umber and a little bit of the white with a burnt sienna in. And with that, I can make what looks like rocks laying here and there all over the floor. Not too many, just a few. And this time I'll do the same thing, but I'll load the other side of the knife, a mirror image, so that the light comes off from the top of the rock again on the other side when I'm using the knife this way rather than that way. Just put them on, and not too many. Don't try to organise them. Put them on like that. I'm putting them left and right of the railway line, the railway line will go down the middle. That's a bit of light shining on the rocks. So now we go up the top, and the same thing with the top. I'll colour it all in with the brush and blue first, and then some burnt umber over the top, in the same brush strokes, down the sides and across the top. Fill the corners in. And what I want to emphasise is I want you to do it in the minimum number of brush strokes. You do have to go back and fix up the bits you miss, but don't go brushing over the top. It's a size 10 flat hog bristle brush I'm using. It's a good little brush. And again with a bit of burnt sienna and white, just a bit of highlight on some of the rocks up here. Not much. So that's our mine. Next we put in our little railway line. I'll do that with a knife. Clean the knife, pick up dark on one side, light on the other. So you get the two colours on your knife. The light is on the top of the knife and that gives me the sleepers. As they come towards you, they get further apart and they get bigger and longer. And the last one's a real big one. He's in there. Oh, I loaded the knife upside down. I'll put the light on top of him now. There. Don't be fussy with these knife strokes. They're only simulated. It's not an architectural drawing. 
Then again with the knife neatly loaded with light and dark, doesn't matter what side the light and dark's on, place the tip there and draw your line in now. This might not go straight, but let mine come like that. Load your knife the same way again and try and follow that one railway track, but keep the distance between it slowly getting bigger as it comes towards you like that. Mine are too parallel there. They should come in closer. I'll move it. But I shouldn't worry because there's a railway carriage to go on top. You can touch up these pieces that are missing if you wish. We can just leave them. Then you can pull some of the wet paint down with your brush. I'll mix some more burnt sienna in with my white. You get some pretty colours. Not too much mixing. Then pick up the darks on one side of your knife and the lights on the other. And with that we can start sculpturing in the pit props. Clean my knife, pick the colours up again. Don't worry the top if one. it doesn't sit on top, just put it in there. And another one, not all up straight. Let's have one at an angle like that. And he's come forward too far, so I'll take him back. Put a bit of colour on the wall. That's a bit too much. And another prop, say there. And there. Oh, that was a bit wobbly. That's okay. Clean my knife every time. Pick up the brown and white again. And this time I think I'll put one right through the middle of that light bit there. Like that. And then something holding it up. About there. And another one there. That one's a bit broken. I will fix him. And now we're up close, we need a big bold one. So I'll load plenty on my knife. And here. Not the same angle as that, possibly. Let him lean in, yeah. That's a very big bold post there. And another one on the other side. I've got a lot of paint on my knife there. I mean, let's come down there. It doesn't matter if it comes off your painting. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter if it fades out into the darkness. And of course a nice big one across the top. Now my brush loaded with a dark colour. We'll paint in the little trolley. Just paint a V. Out there. And we'll give him a load. And a little bit of light on the top, I'd say. Give it a bit of load like that. And a couple of bits that may look like wheels. And because my line's out of place, I'll put a white line there. And with the brush, you can use a little brush if you wish for this. I'll, I'll paint a, a shovel in here. It looks like a shovel. And the pick will be there like that. And the handle like that and the handle of the pig so like that and a little bit of light on there might help and maybe a bit of light on the pig we can touch up things like the bottom of that this one here same maybe that's too long and with my brush I have a bit of paint left over I'll pick up light and dark. I have light and dark on my brush. And I'll just put a beam here, coming and going in the top. Just to cut it across there. there. Well, that's a little gold mine. I like that painting. It's fun. You can practice your brush strokes with that one. It's not a pretty picture, but it's a lot of people will like that picture. You'll be surprised. Thank you.